hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress guys this dress is very easy to make it's just a circle dress but there are two ways to make it right the one you use is like making it in form of half a circle right but if you have enough fabric and you want to replicate exactly what is on the thumbnail like how the ladies own is flowy you have to make it a full circle that means you have enough fabric right so you use five years of maybe if you're working with akara to get that full circle so the first method is just to have your fabric fold it into two right turn it around this way come up here come down from this point here find where your shoulder measurements can fit in Draw in a straight line this way. Insert your shoulder measurement divided by two. Mark it. Insert your armhole. Mark it. Connect it this way. Insert your this um the armhole here. Insert your bust divided by four. Add like two or three inches of seam allowance, and that's it. Right? Come in here. Mark your neck width. Come down one one inch of shoulder slope. Connect it this way. Then you're just going to place your tape from this point and measure what you want. The length before you add that piece at the end that is like five inches or so of a different color, any color you want. Measure from this point to to whatever whatever you want. If it's like 33, 32, wherever that is going, or 30 inches. Measure from your shoulder to 30, 30, wherever it is. You see, now you've gotten the full circle. This is for the front panel. You take your fabric again, fold it into two. Cut replica of this so you have one for the front, one for the back. This is if you want to replicate what is on the thumbnail, like how the lady has a full circle around her own. Now moving on, you will see the next part where I made the particular one I that I, I made the one I made for myself. I used twice, like I used like half a circle is what I wanted. So I shared this one circle, this half a circle, I shared it for both the front and the back. That's the method I actually used to create my own. But every other thing is going to remain the same. So I'm going to now show you the detailed way how you're going to add the neckline. So this every other thing remains the same except the part where you, um, it, depending on the type of flay you want. If you want a lesser flay, then you can go with the second method where you fold it this way. And then insert again your shoulder and every other thing. That way you see you're splitting the circle into both the front and the back. But the first method, you have one flay all the way like this for the front. You go ahead, fold your fabric again, another whole flay for the back. That way you have a full circle both for the front and the back. So guys, this is it here. So I'm just going to fold it to meet this end here, right? And then after that, the next thing I'm going to do is also to fold this again. Guys, make sure that this end is up to this point, like this. And then you're going to fold it the second time. And then you're going to turn it around. Now we're going to put in all our measurements. So guys, once that is done, the next thing you have to calculate is the length. So what I need is for this dress to be 38 inches, from my shoulder to above my knee, 38. So the length I want the black part of it to be is like 6 inches. You can do 5, you can do 4, it depends on you. So 6 minus this will leave me with 32, right? So the length I want the body of this clothes to be now will be 32, right? But I need to add at least 1 inch at the bottom, sorry, half an inch at the bottom to join the black part and half an inch at the top to join the shoulder. So that is plus 1. So I'll be using 33 now so now let me try to first thing i'm going to do is from the shoulder from the top part here i'm going to find where my shoulder will fit in that's my shoulder divided by two my shoulder divided by two is going to be eight so i'm going to find where does eight fit in from the top here so that will leave me with this line here somewhere here right and then i'm going to mark my shoulder divided by two and then i'm going to come down here and insert my armhole divided by two. So first you're going to come down and mark one inch for your shoulder slope, right? And then you're going to insert your armhole length. So you, what you're going to do, if you don't know how to calculate it, is just your bust divided by six plus 1.5. And then you're going to mark it. So after that, I'm going to insert my bust measurement on this particular line now. So my bust is 42 divided by four is 10.5. But I'm going to add at least 
you can do one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance right or you can do half an inch of ease one inch of seam allowance so i'm going to do one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance that will leave me with the whole like two inches that's the whole length i have here but in the meantime i'm going to connect from this point down straight like this so that i can get what my armhole would be and then i'm going to give it the curve after that i'm going to come up to the neck here I mark three inches for my neck width. Connect my shoulder slope to this point. And then I'm going to now start inserting my measurement. So from this point, this straight line, the first line I marked, I'm going to try to fit in 33 all the way. So I'm going to mark 33, 33, 33 all the way to the end. So guys, you see what I have here. So I've marked it. All I have to do now is to go ahead and cut this out. So I'm going to cut from here all the way to the end. So guys, but if once I open this up, you see that this is a card that I used here. The one on the picture is like tetrax that they used us. Or oh, I'm sorry, um, um, crepe. Sorry, it's crepe that they used there. So, but my fabric is not enough. So you see, I need to go back in now and put in Akara fabric that will be enough to cover up this space. Just take my Akara fabric, sew it to this point here, and then cut off the excess just to align this, you understand? So, but in the meantime, I'm going to cover it back up again and, and cut my neckline and then cut this part out. Back up, I've cut out my shoulder slope, cut out my armhole. And then now, and then I separated the side too. So the next thing I have to do is just to cut out the neckline. So for the neckline, I'm just going to cut. In the meantime, I'm going to cut at least one inch for the back neckline. Connect it this way. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Then after that, you can separate one. Remove one for the back and then one for the front. I would advise you use the one with the with the one that you join at the back and then use maybe the straight one that doesn't have any attachment. That's if you're working with a crepe, your fabric will be enough. Any fabric that is cut by 60 will be enough to contain this. It's just that Akara is cut by 45 or 46. So that's why I'm going to just go ahead now and complete this and then we'll come back and cut the front neckline. So guys, this is it here. You see, I've gone ahead and completed it and then I ironed it. So you see, I've added the fabric to complete this and then I trimmed off the excess. So this is what the two of them looks like right now. So I'm just going to take away one, which is the one that I joined for my back panel and set it aside. I'm not going to be doing any other thing to it. But you see my front panel, I have to adjust it so that I can be able to so guys, the first thing I'm going to be doing here is to connect from the edge of this hair to about 9 inches down here. It depends on you. You can do 10 inches if you want to. But I'm just going to do 9 inches and then I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to use my ruler to connect this point to this point. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Once you cut this out, the next thing is to get the fabric you're going to be placing on top. Right? And then you're going to place it this way on it. You see, I've placed it, making sure that the edge here is uh, aligned, right? And then you're going to measure from your shoulder to your waist. That's where this is going to stop. So from my shoulder to my waist is at 17. So I'm going to place my tape at, from my shoulder down to my waist, which is at 17. Mark that here. So that means my V, the, the point of my V is going to stop somewhere there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and mark out this neckline here. And then the shoulder slope also. And it stops somewhere here, right? So now that I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and take out this now. And then the next step is to just go ahead from this point. It depends on you how far you want your neckline to go. If you want it to go all the way to the edge of your shoulder, that's fine. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do at least like, let's say, 4 inches away from the center or 4.5. So I'm going to just mark 4.5 all the way from here and maybe one more time. And then I'm going to place my ruler from this point and connect it all the way to this. So you see my ruler can't point uh, everything. So I'm just going to connect like this all the way. And then I'm going to connect it down to this point here. 
guys i'm going to just go ahead now and cut this out but i won't be cutting it directly like this i'm going to be giving it at least half an inch of seam allowance all the way all the way like this so i'm going to be leaving half an inch of seam allowance by the side before i cut it out now all i have to do is just to open this up this way my my fabric open it up this way to the wrong side you see i'm not using the right side and then i'm also going to open up the wrong side of this one here right place it on top of each other right this way and then i'm going to sew this v down here so i'm going to sew this v all the way up and down this way and then i'm going to tuck it in so you're going to make sure that you have the wrong side of this is facing up and then the right side of this one is facing this because you're going to, once you're done, you flip this inside out. So let me go ahead and sew this now and then I'm going to flip it inside out. So guys, now you see, um, I've gone ahead and finished. So you see, I flipped it inside out, right? And then ironed it. So the edges, you're just going to fold it in with half an inch so that you can make a stitch all the way down like this and then come back up all the way so you see i folded half an inch in on this other side too so guys that's how you're going to do it once you finish you can use a facing you can cut a facing for the neckline the back neckline or you can use bias to run it over and then join the two shoulders together the next thing i'm going to do is to attach my sleeve so as you can see, I've already cut out what I'll be using for the bottom of, this is a cutting fabric, right? It's a poly cutting fabric. So this is what I'm going to be adding to the bottom here. And like I said, I want six inches. So instead of cutting six, I cut six um, 7.5. So I can use one inch to fold the edge that will be facing the floor and then half an inch to join this to the bottom. Just cut enough to go around the bottom of your clothes. And then, also the same thing for the sleeve but to cut the sleeve this is what i'm going to be using here you see um it depends on you the length you want so first i want 19 inches for the body of this and then i'm going to add about five inches to the end of it you, you but if you look at the picture you find that whatever the, the length it was that they use for the end of this is what they also use at the end of the sleeve but i use six inches here but for the sleeve i'm using five inches right that is five inches then plus my seam allowance of 1.5 so I, what i have here is seven um 6.5 what i have here is um 7.5 if that makes sense so now i'm going to just go ahead and you see my fabric is folded into two it's actually folded into four because i'm cutting the two sides um the two sleeves together so you see it's folded into two and then folded over again and then i'm going to place this is what my basic sleeve would look like normally right my basic long sleeve this is what it would look like but in this case is like normally it will go down all the way to the end like this that's the full length right but remember i'm still going to be adding about six inches extra to this here so what i have at the moment is like about um i think it's 19 okay so i'm going to still reduce this a little bit more but in the meantime you just need your basic long sleeve pattern and then you would want to do the width here can be anywhere from 12 to 13 or 14 depending on how open you want it to be and then you're going to add maybe one inch to the end here for the seam allowance except you've already added seam allowance when you were cutting your sleeve but you add your one inch of seam allowance here and then you can angle it from this point all the way down to this point every other thing i'm going to be cutting the same so i'm just going to cut this the same way like this angle it this way in and then like this so i'm going to cut from here out and then cut out the rest take my the bottom part join it straight to the end of this sleeve here see i've gone ahead and finished one side you see and also even attach the sleeve so guys how you're going to do this in case you're wondering is just cut out your facing for the neckline right and then you sew it down you see i sewed it down this way and then flipped it in right just basically the same way we cut out this here this thing that we placed on top you're going to cut out something that that you used to turn over this neckline right so once you 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 you, are, you finish sewing it you're going to take this part here the shoulder of this sleeve and then you're going to turn it around so you're going to turn it this way and then fix it in between the facing and the shoulder of the sleeve this way 
just put it in between the facing and the shoulder of the sleeve and then sew it down once you're done then it's going to look like some like this other side let me show you with this side so you see how this one is looking now but how i got it to look this way you see how clean it is at this inner edge it's just to take it and then sew it so you see is between my facing and the shoulder so this piece for the front this side of the front this 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 one here is in between my facing and the body of the back and then you sew it close once you sew it you flip everything back this way you see then it will turn to this i'm going to take this here put it in between the two of them like this cover it this way sew it down insert my sleeve close up this side and put the body the bottom part of the flip so guys just in case you're wondering uh the length of my sleeve and the bottom part how you're going to make yours align guys if you look at her own you'll find that the big um that the length of her sleeve is long enough to the point that it covers her hand and then you have to shorten your dress so you have to shorten the dress so it comes up and uh and then you can lengthen the sleeve so that it comes down to meet the length of the dress that way the hem the black thing by the end everything will meet each other and be the same length you understand so shorten your dress and then lengthen the sleeve so that the two the the end will, will just be the same color all the way to, like on both sides if that makes any sense but i didn't do mine like that because i want to be able to wear it out like i didn't want my dress too short and then i didn't want the sleeve too long but you can always alter it like how you want it to be so guys that's basically it you see what mine looks like so all you have to do it depends on the body how you want to change it you can just know that the method is still the same how you want to change the body you can use the wider flay that way you have more flay to it like the 360 flay or you can use this in a, a, a more narrower flay for it right and then you can change your length of the sleeve anyhow you just want to change it you can change it but just know that the whole point is like the neckline and then how to join the bottom part of the sleeve and that's basically it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.